Hey, everybody. Welcome to a very special edition of the CPL Newsroom presented by Volkswagen. Charlie O'Connor-Clark here, joined for the first time in about a year by Joao Morelli, who uh, the club announced today, Halifax Wanderers announced that he will be back this summer. Joao, the 2021 CPL Player of the Year, uh, 14 goals in that season, a golden boot. Last year, ACL injury, unfortunately, missed almost all of the season, but you're back. Joao, thanks so much for joining me. Let's just start with the obvious question. Is how excited are you to, to be medically cleared to come back and to, to get back to Halifax? Hey, th- thank you for having me. Um, yeah, I'm really, really excited to, to be back in Halifax. Um, it feels like it's been an eternity being in Brazil, not playing. Um, so I can't wait to, to go and, and get it started. Absolutely. Just tell us maybe a little bit about what that recovery process was like. We've, we've no players that go through those sorts of injuries, but the process is a little, a little different for everybody. Just maybe tell us about the work you had to do and maybe how difficult it was to, to be able to get back to this point. Um, yeah, it was really hard for me. Um, the post-surgery um, was really, really tough. I had um, like a, like a, very hard inflammation and like it was hard to get back on my feet um basically it took me like two months to to like just to stand up without uh, crutches and and walk normally so it was like really really like swollen and like it was really hard i i thought i could never play again if i'm honest <laughs> um but then after that it's just like day by day i was just getting better and better uh it took me more than then like they 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 thought I I, I could do it. Um, they told me nine months, but it, like I'm getting like 100 percent now. So it took me basically a year. Um, but I mean, I I trusted my doctors, my physio here. Um, I doubted them to be honest at the beginning. I said, man, like, I honestly I can't. How how am I going to kick a ball again? Like feeling like this, and they're like, don't worry about it. Like you you'll be stronger than you were before. And it's normal. You just have to trust the process. And here I am. Like I'm, I'm feeling really good. That's that's fantastic to hear. It's got to be, as you mentioned, kind of a tough mental process as well, right? To come off such a great season where you're you're the player of the year, and then two games in, it's it's over, right? Um, just how yeah. did you how did you kind of, uh, you know, you know, keep up that keep up some kind of optimism and positivity, and, and maybe think ahead to being able to get back on the pitch because that must have been a really tough time for you yeah 100 percent um as soon as i like the the game that i got injured as soon as i like i fell on the ground i was like man maybe this is over like i had like a very nice year last year and then just the second game of the season and like this this happens um then i asked obviously i asked the wonders to to come back home and like be with my family because it's obviously the the mental part is the the main part and and I know they could help me get through this um but even though like it's just you just it's not like when you play your whole life just watching football is not nice I don't even like watching that I think I've said that before like I don't like watching football and then like even like knowing that I'm not playing like I just thought like maybe I have to stay away from football a little bit not think about it and just like keep with my like just be here with my family enjoy it um but yeah like i mean i try to to stay focused on my training my recovery even though it was hard uh but i mean it worked out mm-hmm. i obviously this is never never something that that you want to happen but if there is a a silver lining uh you spent a lot of time away from home right in your career uh, in england estonia halifax yeah. you're able to to spend i guess this year home with your family you became a father congratulations by the way thank you, thank um, you. maybe it it would have been nice to just have that that bit of support during this time be able to spend some of that time tell us a bit about you know who you leaned on and, and what kind of support you had from your family and friends back home in brazil yeah it was it was like um very necessary um being here um, as I said, um, I have a son now. He's one month old. It's really nice, honestly. It's a feeling that you can't describe. Uh, so that helped me too. 
uh, knowing that my my wife got pregnant and then you know like you 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 start like finding like meaning of life in different ways you not know, because be- before that football was my life like mm-hmm. the whole thing was football and then you start like seeing different things in life then you like you know like that support makes you like go through stuff and obviously like i have a connection with my family here which is like it's different like i see i i have five siblings so like we we are very united so um they are the first ones obviously my 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 parents but they're the first ones that i, I, I lean to to like find uh strength to 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 keep going and my my family is i mean like it's huge so like they all support me and and this is what i like i try to do and and he helped me a lot absolutely absolutely i mean there's there's always there's always a story behind footballers and, and their family because they're they're always people too yeah. um but maybe just moving moving ahead to the the football side coming back to halifax uh a lot is different i guess from from last time you left there's a new coach a not a lot of uh, new players in the squad um have you have you maybe been able to to keep up with what's going on there and what are your maybe impressions of what you're coming back to yeah, I, I tried. I mean, I tried the the best I could to just like watch a little bit of the games, but mm-hmm. it doesn't make me feel very good. <laughs> yeah. But um, as, as I said, like um, to to the club, uh, I see a lot of potential. I think um, we're playing in a different way, and this this way right now, like maybe I I can fit a little bit better than it was before my style of game so i'm really excited like i i want to i want to get to know the, the new boys and, and like i know i know it's going to be a great year have you have you had any kind of contact maybe with any of the, the teammates that are still there that you know or, or even with with patrice yet yeah I, I spoke to to the coach a few times um nothing about football or anything just to mm-hmm. get to get to know him and um i, t- I obviously i i text the the, the boys especially like Rampy Daniels and you know sometimes we, we just talk a little bit but nothing like very often too so it's just I was just trying to be focused here and, and get back on my feet mm-hmm. I mean I, I'm certain that the club is, is very excited for you to come back um, I, I think maybe the, the the piece that they're needing at the moment is some of those goals that, that you have provided for them in the past. Uh, just think when you think back at you know some of the, the moments that you had, whether it's at Wanderers grounds or, or even PEI or, or wherever else, what are maybe some of your favorite memories of playing for Halifax? Uh, it's def- definitely scoring in at the Wanderers grounds. It's just unbelievable. It's just like the supporters are amazing there. Um, it was nice. Just like, looking at the the crowd you know it's just different like it's a feeling that i i suffered here too because i always remember these moments and i used to watch like videos of like 2021 and watching like my my video get injured and it was just really hard like i used to cry watching my videos and my wife was like what's going on i was just like oh, no, i don't know i'm just watching my, my highlights here <laughs> and she was like okay um um, but she, she's like, honestly, my wife is one of the main characters that like helped me go through this too. Like we, we have a very good relationship and, um, the, it was sad that she moved, she moved last year. Um, uh, yeah, last year with me there and she only spent 20 days there and I got injured. So, so now maybe she'll have the time to, to really get to know Halifax and go to the Wanderers ground. And I think I like, she, she'll love it too. So those moments there um they're they're gonna like live forever in my head and right now if my wife and my son they they can be there it's gonna be unbelievable too absolutely i mean to to have a proper summer in halifax yeah. i think is is exciting and you've you've touched on it there and you've mentioned it a lot of times before but what is it about that that club and, and that city that you kind of found a home in that made you so happy to to be able to come back and to want to get back there yeah it's just honestly you can't even explain it's just like you have to live it to to understand you know it's the city is amazing uh, the people there like i've said this before like they're, they're really nice 
Um, I, I mean, as you said, I feel like Halifax is my my home too, and I miss it to be honest. Like I love Brazil, but I have something there that I like. I love and and I, I want to be there like so bad. So um, I hope I, I I hope my family now enjoys it as I do, and we can be like a happy family there. <laughs> Hopefully. Well, I'm sure the, the Halifax family is excited to welcome you back. Uh, the, the CPL is very excited for you to come back because I think the league is is better with you in it. It's more thank fun uh, on and off the pitch as well. Um, Joao, I can't thank you enough for, for taking the time. And, and I guess just we'll we'll see you on the pitch soon, hopefully. Yes, hopefully. Yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And I'm really excited to, to see you all there. Absolutely. Thanks, Joao.